Alright ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you know this, but my name is Chris Webpan, and with me is Clay. How are we doing, Clay? Hanging in there, man. This is a lot of fun. Uh, this is. I am super excited for this one, which is Renature, because Kramer and Kiesling, or Cromer, I believe it technically is, and Kiesling are some <laughs> of my all-time favorite designers, so I was super excited when you said you were doing this one. Yeah, when we played this um, with Deep Print, just that instant that you, the, it just instantly was like, yes, we need this. This is amazing. This is awesome. So <laughs> it was oh. it was a lot of fun. And I cannot wait to let this hit retail. I'm just really excited for this one. Uh, I am too. And it looks gorgeous. And uh, why, don't, why don't I show you um, this one? Now, as I'm unboxing this clay, this is coming from your um, Simply Complex line. Am I correct in that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's about an hour and the rules are really straightforward. Um, but it also has some chunky wooden bits, as you just heard. Oh my goodness. In that little bag. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, there's some dot. It's, it's a, the dominoes have these screen printed animals on it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this is about a polluted valley that you're going to kind of re repopulate with um, Mother Nature, uh, getting trees and plants and getting animals to go back into this area. And one of the cool things that we're doing on a production wise is there's going to be zero plastic when you open your game. This is obviously a production copy from the factory and they just wanted to send out these bags and stuff but when you get your own copy there's going to be zero plastic inside. Um, the bag is linen and cardboard and wood so um, really excited about that just as a little small touch. These are but, uh, these are nice chunky bits yeah. too. I, I really like them. I mean look at this tree. This tree is downright it's huge. Neat. It's huge. Yeah, and when you play that tree, though, in the game, that's some <laughs> serious business when you play that one. <laughs> right? Um, and yeah. in the in the core of the, the game, there's uh, 55 tiles uh, in this bag that are the domino tiles um, that are the, the key component of the game. Like, let's be honest here. But, I mean, you can hear them. I mean, oh, just so good. Yeah. And uh, a nice detailed screen print on them, too, I might add. Yeah, so each tile is completely different. There's no duplicates in there. They all have um, a combination of the animals that you can see on the left side of this game board. Um, there yeah. you go. Yeah. It's, 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 wow. I mean, it's gorgeous. And I tell you what, at the end of the game, this one looks phenomenal because it's completely built up all this color is just exploding all over the board it's absolutely phenomenal now yeah kind of like a, a normal domino game uh we have some starting zones here but other than that whenever you place a domino uh you do have to follow that by matching the new end to the old end so right. it's definitely um you know pretty pretty intuitive and we're just following this this brook through this nature preserve. That's your dominant yeah. path, right? You can branch anywhere you want. You can either start or start branching, and uh, yeah, and you got yeah. Go you. I don't know. Like I was <laughs> going to mention the Joker. It's like yep. you got this situation where like you have an owl and is that a frog? I think it's a frog. Yep. Um, if you don't have any of those dominoes in your hand. The butterfly, which has got that green marker on it, is a wild, and so that can be placed anywhere um, against any other animal. It's it's the Joker, the wild suit right. essentially. So that is a completely legal move, in that in that regard. So. Right. And what's cool is you'll you'll accrue special actions via these cloud tokens that um, you can spend to change that wild. So you can move it to the red squirrel, which inevitably will be the thing that's not in my hand because it never is. Whenever somebody's changed the wild, it's never in my hand. So <sighs> you have yeah. some flexibility. The other thing is your player boards are gonna give you um, a specific amount of 
the wood that you're due, and it's also going to give you some neutral colors. Um, so everybody gets a little bit of neutral as well. So they, they kind of... The neutral is... <laughs> it's mean. It's kind of just the spoiler, the right? The evilest part of the game, the neutral pieces, man. How and, you use those, what you can do with them are devilish, and it's so fun when you when you do it. So fun. Now, the other cool thing is that as we're placing our uh, dominoes out, why we're actually doing that is we're trying to create these little area control zones inside these these areas. They're, they're little pens and things like that. So these pens will have a, a little tile in them that's the same size as the pen is. So this is a two-point tile. Now, when I would place this domino here, and it would be legal because I'm on that, it allows me to place one of my pieces of wood. Now I can use the level four tree, the, the big oak. I can use the level three evergreen, the level two bush, or the level one turf. Uh, and what you place will help you determine, A, who's going to have the highest power in that zone when it ultimately scores, and B, there's also a quick scoring whenever you place pieces. So um, let's just say I put this little turf there, and then whenever this piece is completely surrounded or completely built up, the person who triggers that gets the little piece, and then we do a little end game. We do a little end of pen scoring for first and second place, which is kind of the top value and the bottom value. And then whoever triggered that, it doesn't even have to necessarily be somebody who's in the hunt for the race. They get the chip because on the backside, it's worth some mystery points as well. And there's a little yeah. variability there. So Yeah. You got this triple scoring mechanic. So when you place your domino, you can place a um, a uh, a plant. I, I'm going to call them plants. Um, <laughs> your choice. You have. I mean, again, you're limited to those pieces. You have like a. You have two. You have one big oak and a neutral oak, and whatever's on your player board. But when you place, it's going to score points potentially. Um, when you enclose the area, you're going to score points for that area. And at the end of the game, if you have the tile, you'll score it for a third time. So yeah. it's this triple level of scoring it's really neat how how it all pans out yeah and uh the neutrals when when we talk about that they're good for the scoring when you place them that first scoring that clay talked about it's also good for the second scoring because you can take the tile with a neutral but it's it's a a non-existent player it. color at the end right yeah. uh so you know, they can be just a spoiler that you throw in there. They can be, um, I'm not going to get any points. I'm just going to put one in there so I can make the tile get scored and I get that extra tile because some of the big ones are worth some some points. And if you're, oh, yeah. and if you're not in the hunt for it, that's a great way to get points. Um, one thing yeah. we didn't talk about during one of the scoring rounds, it does this thing, and I love this mechanic or mechanism, and you know this because we played a game called Las Vegas, and it's one of my favorite things in Las Vegas. If you're tied, you don't even count. So- No, it, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even get that middle scoring. So that is just, I love that because that is another great way to use the neutral. You're just like, and you get nothing. <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> that neutral negates the other one that's there. It's just, oh, it's so mean. <laughs> it's yep. so good, though. So so yeah. there's a lot of levels to it. There's a, It's a lot of fun, and it builds a great board because as you build up, the trees stay out on the board. Now, you can do things to pull them out of a section. So maybe you're not going to win a section at all, and you just don't even want your tree there because you want to use it for something else. Uh, you can spend some cloud tokens, which are... Kind of bonus actions uh, to take them back, or you can spend a cloud token to just take another turn. You can just go. Yeah, but, cloud tokens make it really unique too, because you can get those at the bottom of the player board or the on the yeah, right. Yeah, you can see. There's a few spots yeah. where they'll be on the board, um, and then the other kind of interesting thing is this is not a pool of dominoes that we're selecting from. Uh, at the game, you will draw. An amount dependent on the amount of people who's playing for us it was fit 26 for a two-player game 
that's it. That's all you get. So even if you take multiple extra actions, you're still only placing 26 tiles. So, you know, you think you're getting ahead of things, but it, this one is all about timing, all about timing. The, the design space here is, is incredible for what's, for what the rule set leads you on with. It's just, there's so much that go, the, the game starts real nice and peaceful. And then as you start progressing down this brook and getting into that, the bigger areas, Mm -hmm. I think it's extremely interesting to see where <laughs> do you want to place your tile? What wooden piece do I want to use? Where do, you know, oh, it's such a great, great experience. One might, one might even say it's very simple, but very complex. <laughs> <Yet complex. laughs> uh, and, and completely gorgeous. Uh, one of the, the hallmarks so far of the Simply Complex line is just gorgeous, chunky wooden bits. You, you saw it first with climbers, it, again with the states, and now here with this one. So I cannot wait. Again, another title I can't wait to uh, get your hands on. Because um, this is a prototype, but, you know, aside from the board, it, it's still gorgeous and ready to go. Yeah. So, yeah, we just, we actually launched pre-orders for this today. And um, we're uh, rele releasing it. For Spiel and Essen, and it'll come around. Uh, Pre-orders will probably be delivered around that time because this game will be finishing up manufacturing mid to late September. So we'll have it right at the end of October to ship out. So awesome! But yeah, so, I cannot wait for this one. This is a no, great one. It absolutely is. So super excited for that. Um, if you happen to already have purchased pre-orders, um, I know Clay that you're going to send out a, an email addressing people who have already pre-ordered so if you have any questions yeah. about that check your email folder because me. you know the information will be in there if you want to get another pre-order and kind of combine shipping correct yeah yeah the details will be in there just specifically for people who have purchased or pre-ordered uh new york zoo and or curious cargo um don't want to leave those guys hanging so uh, appreciate anybody that pre-orders uh, we really appreciate it and it means a lot so yeah we want to make sure we do it right absolutely so there you have it check out renature we're also doing demos of this one uh if you have any questions hop in the channel um, i'm sure some of the demo staff could help you through it and if you just want to go play it this one's the only one that we have on tabletopia uh, the link is there so you can play it completely free so you can go log in and you can kind of play around with it and, and maybe you can like uh mess over some of your friends in the process because <laughs> it's what you do. <laughs> Why are right. we playing? Absolutely. Thank you so much, and we'll see you for the next spotlight. All right.